Hello and welcome to another video for Excel users. Here we have a fairly typical workbook and you may well have seen this one before if you've watched my beginner series. It's a workbook with five worksheets. As you can see down here we've got the four weeks of data and a summary worksheet. And what I would like to do is view information on week one and information on week four side by side. So how do I solve that problem? One solution you might think of is to use the split feature and that's something I've covered before. If we click on the view tab here you'll see I can click on the split button there and you'll see an interesting thing happens on the screen that I get four discrete windows that I can scroll left and right and up and down on so I can see different bits of the worksheet in the different windows. Now that's okay for a single worksheet but as you can see on the right hand side I don't have any sheet tabs only on the left so I can't actually use the split feature to view worksheets side by side so let's turn that off and the solution in fact is very simple it's to click the new window button so click new window and if you actually look in the title bar you'll notice it's now says east.xls2 indicating a new window is opened but with the same file name and to view that I simply go to arrange all and I'm going to arrange my windows in a vertical format click OK and there we have the workbook duplicated in a second window and of course I've now got all the sheet tabs as well available so on the left hand side there's week one all I do now is click on the right side window click on week four and there is my week four data that I can analyze, change, do what I want with. What's nice is that the two workbooks are synchronized. So if I click into cell C3, for example, and make a change to the number of rentals for that uh, cell there, click on enter, come back to the left window, click on week four, you'll see that update has been duplicated. So these two windows are fully synchronized. Any changes made in one is instantly reflected in the other. Okay, so let's click back on week one on the left window. I'm going to close that right hand window down and as I do that you'll notice that Excel doesn't prompt me to save because obviously the workbook is still open in the original window. And to restore that window simply click the maximize button and you're back to where you started. Now of course you can view as many windows as you want and another little demonstration here if I click on the new window button three times click on arrange all and this time select tiled click OK you'll see now I have four windows so I can view week one in the top left I can click on the top right click week two the bottom left I might want to view week three and in the bottom right I might want to view week four so I can view all four weeks of data simultaneously and when I've done all that, when I've finished, I can simply use the keyboard shortcuts, Control F4, to close them down one by one until I only have one left, and then maximize that window. You can obviously use the mouse as well to close the windows down, but Control F4 is a handy keyboard shortcut for closing a window within a program. Alt F4, as I'm sure you know, close of the program. Now finally, when I close the workbook, the final one, then I get the prompt from Excel to save my changes. So I'm going to cancel that for now. If you're using Excel 2003, you can do the same thing here by clicking the Window menu and choose New Window. Then Window again, choose a range, and then if I click Vertical, click OK, you'll see we have the same thing. So I can again view two worksheets side by side. When I've finished, close one down and restore the original one to its full window view. So there we are. Now you know how to view worksheets side by side. I hope you find some use for that and uh, you found this video helpful. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time.